Sorry, Snoopy. You can't go with us. Dogs aren't allowed on the school bus. I was born and raised in Stuttgart, a town in the southwest of Germany. Half a million inhabitants, mainly known for its cars, the food, the first concrete made TV tower and a train station. That's the reason for one of the questions I get asked the most when I'm away from Stuttgart. What's with the station? Well, what is with it? Let me explain. Stuttgart lies in a valley, actually it was a swamp that made it a safe place, so people settled here and most people still get stuck here. So the station is basically surrounded by hills, there's nothing unusual, in fact it was something that people were proud of. To have a city where you arrive and you leave again. A station that is sort of welcoming and farewelling the people who came here. One day the mayor and the president flew over the valley and looked down at the station. There was so much ground to sell to investors, so they came up with an idea build an underground station and sell the space above. But that sounded a little too greedy, so they said, we'll save 30 minutes on our way from Paris to Budapest. Well, most people might choose to take an airplane, but still. The problem there is, the drivers have to get out the train over there and have to get back in at the then top of the train, which is sometimes a problem. It takes a few minutes. I don't know if that's such a reason to change the whole station. The price for this idea was 2.5 billion euros, they said. Now, there's this problem with the people in this part of Germany. We are very penny-wise. 2.5 billion sounds like a lot of money. So people started protesting and instead of telling them that there might be a huge profit in selling the land, the mayor and the president kept telling the story of swift train travels and modern times. That didn't really sink in and so now there's still a huge pit instead of a modern station. And the price went up a little since that helicopter flight in 1993. From 2.5 to 10 billion, according to the architect. But the main problem is the name. Stuttgart 21. People start to suspect that the 21 no longer stands for 2021 as an opening date. More like 2100. And by then we might have changed our way of traveling a bit. 